Hi, I'm Nikki B, and welcome to my 15 minute kettlebell workout. Okay, we're going to work the entire body in this 15 minutes. It's a great workout to do independently as an express workout or one that you can incorporate into another workout. Please make sure that you've warmed up before you start, either the warm up from my channel or warm up of your choice. Weight wise, that will depend on your fitness and strength level. I just advise that you choose a weight that will challenge you. I've actually got two kettlebells here because I like to sometimes vary the weight dependent on the exercise that I'm doing. You could also incorporate a dumbbell if your kettlebell, say, is particularly heavy for a certain exercise. I also recommend having a towel. You do get quite hot and sweaty uh, with kettlebells. You get that heart rate up. So you want to make sure that you've got a good grip on that kettlebell at all times. Okay, we're going to work uh, 40 seconds per exercise, 20 second rest. We've got five exercises in total and we're going to do three rounds. Let's hit that timer and get straight into it. So we have a swing to begin. So we want our feet about shoulder width apart. You're going to come down. As you come up, you're going to thrust those hips forward, squeezing those glutes, okay? So it's almost like you're hinging back, driving that kettlebell through. So as you get that momentum, squeeze, thrust those hips forward, squeezing that bottom, those glutes. Most of the work is coming from the lower body here. Those shoulders are up. Perfect. That's it, well done. 10 seconds. Squeeze. Really drive that kettlebell through. Back nice and straight. Okay, and relax. Okay, we've got squat to halo. So for this squat, we're gonna hold the kettlebell with the bell facing the ceiling. You're going to squat down, back straight, up, into that halo, all the way around. So, toes facing forward, or slightly out, coming down, up, into that halo. Make sure those knees are following those toes, and that back is nice and straight. Try and come down low so that your thighs are parallel to the ground. That core is engaged. Excellent. Again, check those knees, following those toes. Superb. Excellent. Okay, we're going to bend over row. So we're going to do the right arm on this round. Step back, pick up that kettlebell. Now, Back nice and straight, neck neutral. Squeeze that elbow up to the ceiling, that arm brushing past the side of your body on the way up. So, squeeze and release. Nice and controlled on the downward movement. Squeezing that shoulder blade at the top. That's it. going. 10 seconds. Make sure that back is nice and straight. And relax. Okay, we've got figure of eight. So, if you want those feet just a bit wide in the shoulder width apart, you're going to come down, you're going to pass that kettlebell through those legs. Again, core engaged. Like so. Ready? So, pass that kettlebell through. Try not to be leaning too far forwards, okay? This is a fantastic exercise, working multiple muscle groups. Fifteen seconds. Place that to one side. This one is 
going to vary on round two and four. So, catch your bell here. Coming down, back, together. Pick it up, flip it, and press. So, coming down, back, together, up, and press. I'll do it face on. So, coming down, legs back, pick it up, and press. Now, we can do this low impact as well. Step it out, in, up, press to the ceiling. So, out, out, in, in. It doesn't have to be quick. Whew. That heart rate should be up. Again, okay, stepping it out, step, step, in, in. Whew. Okay, place that down. That's round one done. We're going back to that swing. So, feet about shoulder width apart. <clears throat> Remember, we're going to come down. We're not squatting. There you go. Get that momentum. Ready? Off we go. So, squeeze those glutes. Back is nice and straight. Chest is up. Thrusting those hips forwards. Another great exercise. Come on, last couple. Whew, give one more. Oh. Down it goes. We've got that squat to halo. Next. So remember, for this one, Normally we hold the kettlebell like this for squats, but we're flipping that bell over, holding the kettlebell by those horns. So back straight, squeeze on the way up into that halo. Coming down nice and low in that squat, if you can. My chest is up. Perfect. On those halos, alternate on the way in the direction that you go, but if you can't remember, do not worry. You're still working all that upper body and your core, I have to say on that one. Okay, we've got the row. I'm going to use this weight. So we did the right arm round one, I'm going to do the left arm on this round. The last round we'll do half and half. So, take that left leg back, back nice and straight, neck neutral, and row. Again, the arm rushing past the side of your body on the way up, and nice and controlled on the way down. So, with that last exercise, I said that the exercise is going to differ for round two and four. There is no round four. So it's just this round, round two, that it will differ. My apologies. That's it, three. Whew, okay, we've got this figure of eights. So again, for this one, just to recap, those feet are just a bit wider than shoulder width apart. Okay, that core is engaged. And we're gonna pass that kettlebell back through our legs. Pin three. So, passing it back. That's it. Keep going, keep going, 10 more seconds. Whew, okay, 
So for this round, we're going to do plank pass through. So we're going to go into that upright plank position. Kettlebell on the outside of that right arm. Then you have them about shoulder width apart. It will help with balance. And you're going to pass that kettlebell through to the outside of the opposite arm. So try and keep those hips stable. It. Well done. Nice and controlled. Don't worry about speed. Just check those wrists up under those shoulders in this upright plank position. So drag it through, pull it through. Ten seconds. Last one. Okay, round two complete, final round. So we're going to go back to those swings. Feet shoulder width apart, core engaged. Are we ready? Final round, let's give it everything. So get that momentum and up you come. Thrust those hips, squeeze those glutes, back straight, shoulders up. Well done. Ten seconds. Stay strong. Last one. Whew. Okay. Squat to halo. So toes facing forward or slightly out. Just make sure those knees follow those toes. Let's get that kettlebell in position. So again, flip it over. Bell facing the ceiling, holding onto those horns. So coming down, squat into that halo. Really working that core and that upper body. Twenty seconds. Excellent. Ten. Okay, we've got that bent over right. So as I said, we're going to do half, 20 seconds right, 20 seconds left. So it's a quick turnaround to get the maximum out of it for this exercise. In five, let's get in position. Go. Really squeeze at the top in those shoulder blades. Superb. Give me one more this side. And switch. So left hand, left leg back, straight into it. No break. Squeeze. Bigger of eight. So let's bring that kettlebell in between those legs. Feet just a bit wider than shoulder width apart. We're going to pass that kettlebell through those legs. Remember, core engaged in five. So let's get ready. Off we go. So three. Again, make sure that you aren't leaning down. Okay, that chest is up. We are on the home straight. We have just over a minute more of work. That's it. Five seconds. Whew, okay. So 
So we're going to finish what we did in round one. That burpee and press. So coming down, pick that kettlebell belt up, hold it and press. And for low impact, step it out. Out, out, in, in, up and press. So if you go, make this one count. It's the last 40 seconds of work. Again, go for four and over speed. That core engaged when you're doing that overhead press. place that down safely. I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, quite an express all over workout. Great to do on its own if you're short of time or if you want to add it on to another workout. Please make sure you cool down, stretch out, leave the cool down for my channel, one of your choice, and also continue to drink, get those spurs back in. Oh, my heart rate after that last exercise. Okay, enjoy the rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.